Welcome back to Lasco Ford. This is a 2019 Ford F-250 Lariat diesel ultimate package and a little sprinkle of the sport package on top. So what is new with the sport package? Well, let me just dive into this thing. It's about time Ford came up with this because we've been doing this custom for a long time. So on the 2019 Ford Lariat ultimate package, sport package on top of that is this beautiful headlight assembly. Why? Well, because they, they did the black inlays behind it, which I love, we've got the parking lights on right now, but this is very familiar if you've paid attention to the 2015 and newer special edition F-150 package in the XLT, you've got the black inlay behind it, actually more of a magnetic color. But this is copying that, taking it to the 250 and 350 level available in the Lariat Sport. This is an ultimate package. What you won't see as an availability is the quad beam LED headlights because they're all chrome and it doesn't match. So Ford decided to do this headlight, which you can also always replace your bulb with an LED, but that is continuing that whole blacked out monochromatic look with a huge blacked out grill with a massive 13 inch Ford emblem in the front because you definitely want people to know what you're driving. Obviously, if you're in Texas, that's a belt buckle or dinner plate, one of the two. Super duty in Boston, the top hood part, huge tow hooks, that's gonna be on your four wheel drives, and then you have the monochromatic paint to match bumper instead of having the chrome bumper. Why? Well, because it's gorgeous. Why wouldn't you want that? That's absolutely beautiful. So, taking a look at everything, all black. We ordered this one with the roof clearance lights. Those are also LED. Then you have the side lights as LED with a skull cap being black to match. Not only that, but on your fender badging, now Lariat with the F-250, all blacked out. So all black, everything. Even the inlays on your 6.7 liter emblem here, plus your power stroke, turbo diesel symbols, all blacked out with a little bit of extra stainless steel. But while you're down there, take a look at this. It's the first time they've ever done a completely black uh, uh, running board on a Super Duty ever, right? Gloss black, beautiful. This is actually, the color is called a gate black on this truck. Underneath this mirror, you also have a little spotlight. So when we open the door, that lights up, lets you see everything behind or down below you. So you can actually see that. Cool thing about the mirrors, they're power folding, but also power extending. And that's held off two pedestals here. So if you've got a trailer in the back, those will come out, those will go in, and then they'll fold back. You can do pretty much anything you want to do. Hey, I want to pay attention to the wheels. This was my favorite wheel design that they came out with in the new 2017, 18, and 19 trucks. Now they've made the whole thing black and even blacked out the center cap that goes over the top. Now you've got your, auto, your, um, your locking hubs here and that's gonna show you a lock position or an auto position. So the auto position on the 2019 F250 Lariat is gonna be when you do the shift on the fly. So if you have it in auto, it's free spinning, but you'll have the option to put it into four wheel drive. If you go to a full lock, that is gonna be when you're gonna get ready to go really play in the sand, mud, snow, that type of situation, or haul a Chevy out of the ditch, whatever you gotta do there. So other things we're gonna talk about, massive fuel door. I keep bringing this up, but thank you Ford for not putting your DEF tank underneath the passenger side footwell, because that absolutely looks completely out of place on the GM trucks right now. Look, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm very biased to Ford. Let's just go ahead and clear that up. DEF here, diesel here. Cool thing is, you don't have to pop the hood to put DEF in your tank. Makes sense, right? FX4, what does that do for you? That upgrades your shock system on this truck, and that's gonna give you the Rancho shocks. That's gonna also give you the underbody skid plates that you're gonna need to have with it. Standard on FX4 is gonna be a locking rear differential. So rear differential can be 355, 373, or we can go up from there on the three and 450s, okay? Also, I do wanna mention, this is not a standard tire. We have upgraded this truck, the Toyo Open Country, MTs, right? What is that size? Oh, it's a 37. Oh, okay. Level With a leveling kit. So two inches up in the front, and that slaps the 37s on there. But you also have the splash guards. This is a factory option, but also available as an accessory if you don't have that on your current Super Duty now. So that is definitely something to go ahead and grab. I just put a set on my truck not too long ago because I moved on to a dirt road, which I love it. But this is going to be your blind spot awareness system. That's located right here on the back side of your taillights, right? So that's gonna show you not only what's in your blind spot, but also if you're hauling a trailer, that'll actually shoot back 30 plus feet. I think the exact number is 40, don't quote me on that. 
but it's 30 to 40 feet back from your truck when you have a tow vehicle behind you. So not only your blind spot, but the tow vehicle's blind spot, right? Well, that's cool. Let's talk about things like this. Okay, you got an LED light that helps guide this camera downward. So when you're doing your uh, hitching up to a trailer um, or you know hooking up to whatever, or backing into a parking spot, whatever you need to do, it's got an LED light to help you see your rear view camera. Also have reverse sensing system that's gonna be on this truck as well. That's gonna be six feet and closer and it'll start beeping as you back up to a light pole, another vehicle in a parking lot, whatever it might be. Cool thing here, take a look at your key. Panic, and then this is gonna be, you push this twice, and that happens. Oh, oh, cool, well, we'll drop that. Here's the other thing that's cool. Ford's design on your, rear, your uh, rear step that goes into your tailgate, tailgate step, right? Good design. I love the way that they've done it, and they have upgraded it, so now you don't have that pole that sticks right here and gives you a little hump in your tailgate so you can slide things in and out easily. Standard on your sport package, is also gonna be your tough bed spray and liner that Ford puts in at the factory. That is a standard item in the sport. So you're gonna have it whether you like it or not. So this tailgate step helps people like me who are five foot eight be able to get into the bed of this truck because if you look at it, it's actually above my hip. It's all the way up to my ribs, this truck. Huge, massive truck. Cool thing is in 2017 and newer, we now have a deeper well inside of the truck. So your bed is actually deeper than it was before which is cool because the 150 always had the deepest bed in it, right? Now you've got that in the 250 and 350s in the single rear wheel like this and in the dual rear wheel. Cool things to point out here too, right? So you've got a seven pin wiring harness here, okay? And then you also have four LED lights that are gonna come when you touch this button here. So this is gonna be your LED box lighting, okay? So four here, four on the other side as well. And then when you hit that button, it also turns on your LED lights on your rear chimsel camera, your, your center high mount stop light camera, or your uh, light, here, right there, there you go, right there. Power sliding rear window, they did change the design on this too in 2017 from having a three piece window to a two piece window where you had a bar right here and a bar right here and the whole centers, well, this makes it so it's a lot more stable for not only the safety of the vehicle but also you know, less leaking issues, right? So that's nice, okay. To push this and take this down, you just press in the button. Here's a number one, press that in, slide it down. Number two, press where the number is. Push that down, shove it in there, shove it in here, and up you go. Easy as that. So you don't have to do, uh, you know, like GM's new, uh, new uh, step tailgate. What do you think about that? Try and put a hitch in there and see if you can even fold it down and access your step. Cool thing about four is it recesses, so it's all the way back behind here, so if you have a hitch or a receiver in there, you're not gonna have that issue, you don't have to take it out. That's part of good engineering. Yeah, might wanna think about that a little bit later. Inside here too is the rear wheel well liners. So in the rear wheel well liner, it just keeps it from getting all that crap up, stuck in between your leaf springs and shocks and up in your bed wells and all that good stuff, that is gonna be an option and an accessory that you can do as well. These were ordered on this truck, not a standard item, but you can get them. Cool thing about this truck too, back seat room. We've got stuff everywhere back here, but it'll come with two sets of mats and the floor mats. But the cool thing is here, is you've got this huge storage uh, option here as well. Now this is collapsible, so you can actually have it up or you can fold it down if you need a little bit more floor space. But when you're using that, you can actually separate it into two different ones. What's that? Okay. All right, so folders and files and all kinds of things everywhere. Ugh. All right, so now that that's out of the way, this right here is how you're gonna lock it into the up position. Okay, that makes it so it's rigid, it won't fall, it's gonna be stuck in the, in the up position. This also is the divider that I just mentioned. Okay, so you can divide that, you got a, a button uh, right there so it can lock into place or unlock and get folded back here. You, you can fold this down, and this is in the unlock position right now. If you see these little lock pieces there, it's to lock this down so it doesn't go do -do 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 when you're going down the road, right? Huge back seat space. So big back seat space is a big deal to people that are riding in the Super Duties. Why? Because in 2017, the 150s always had all the room. The 250s had a little less headroom. Now you have the same exact cab as a 150, that helps out a lot with giving you more headroom and more second row or your rear seat room. This is the full crew cab here in the 2019 Lariat Special 
uh, not special, but sport edition, right? Ultimate package. But let's take a look at back here too. You've got all kinds of different charging areas here. This, your three prong outlet, that's gonna be a 400 watt AC 110 volt system. Two different USB systems there for charging for people in the second row. And then this is obviously gonna be your old fashioned cigarette lighter, right? 12 volt, pretty sure, right? There you go. So that, that's, that's what that's gonna be. I don't even, I, don't, I think those are pretty much obsolete. They're like uh, eight tracks and cassette players. What is this package that you get with your Super Duty? This is gonna be your box link system. Where do these go? What is this, how does that work, right? Well, you've got four different tie downs that are in the bed of the truck. So let's look at that real quick. I don't wanna miss anything here. So you've got four tie downs. You got one here, you've got one over here, two on the other side. If you see right here where I'm sitting, that's another, that's called your box link system. So what goes in there? Well, you can do ramps for a snowmobile, dirt bike, four wheeler, ATV, whatever. You can do ramps that hook up and actually lock into place here. You can do dividers, your bed dividers. You can also do those cleats that come with that box link system. Those are now giving you eight different tie downs instead of just four tie downs. So if you're putting wood or anything large in the back of the vehicle, it just gives you one more way to go through. I love using them because I put my ratchet strap on that link that comes standard with a the truck, then go through my box link and hook around whatever I need to, go through the other box link down to my other hook, and it just really gives you a good, secure way of doing it. One other thing to point out, you see this huge Ford emblem here? You're only gonna get that if you get your spray and bed liner from Ford, the Tough Bed Spray and Bed Liner. So when you get a spray and bed liner, you get this big Ford emblem in it too. Kind of a little perk, but you know it's factory. There you have it. All right. Climbing down again. Ugh. All right, let's keep talking about the truck. Inside, all blacked out in the sport package too, and you have this dark walnut color trim that's gonna go into your wood grain here. Chrome bezels that are on the outside of it, matching your stainless steel and chrome on the door handles and grab handles there. Painted to match on your door handles along with this keyless entry system. So if I push this, it'll lock or unlock the doors. But also when you push it, it'll illuminate your side view mirrors. Let's take a look inside. Would you like to? Here we go. 6.7 liter, 2019 Ford Lariat, ultimate package, sport package, F250 FX4. I locked you out, didn't I? Inside, oh, I could spend an hour in here. Thank you, Ford, for doing the B&O car play, or the B&O sound system, right? This is freaking awesome. Takes the Sony system that they used to have as your upgrade to a whole different level. This is gonna also have your twin panel power moon roof and I've only got it halfway open, so we'll open that the rest of the way real quick here. Oh yeah, no hands, power. Yep, yep the whole thing's power. So this, this piece is not stationary, that can move and open up. The other piece over here that is stationary, that stays right where it is, hence the stationary. Check this out. There's one storage area, another storage area, airbag thing there, put your owner's manual there comes with a little plug. This is actually for your tailgate camera. If you decide to remove your removable tailgate, then you can put that plug in there so you don't jack up your wiring. Inside here, here I'm gonna show you a little secret. Down in here, there's an extra little storage area. What's that for? Yeah, you wanna know about that? Check this out. That's where your key goes for reprogramming if you lose your programming to your key. Well played, Ford. Also, secret stash spot, if you wanna keep something away, like uh, cash or whatever. Sorry, I just told everyone on YouTube. This also is pretty cool too, because check out your cup holders. Ready for this magic trick? Boom, there's four cup holders now, instead of just two. So, now you have four. Inside here, this is illuminated, that's your ambient lighting that Ford does as well. So, inside here, you turn your lights on, you're gonna have that light ice blue color. Cool. Inside here, that's gonna be two more USBs, you got two in the back, two in the front, those are a smart charging system. And what does that do? Well, it charges your device, your iPad, your phone, your laptop, whatever, to the maximum charging ability of your device. And it regulates that, so that's nice. This right here, your four-wheel drive switch, because this truck is an FX4, like I mentioned, you have a locker, you pull that switch out, that engages your locker in two-wheel high, four high, or four low. Okay, so well, now you yeah, know how to use your locker. Take a look up here, another 400 watt inverter, and then your 12 volt system. Cigarette lighter, yep, from the 70s. Yep, that's nice. Um, up top, you got buttons all over the place. Exhaust brake, traction control, you can push it once or press and hold for about 30 seconds to completely eliminate your advanced track roll 
and your RSC, your roll stability control that Ford offers, hazard light, and your descent control. What does descent control do? Well, it basically breaks the truck between the trans and the engine and your braking system for a very slow rock crawling downhill motion. So does it work? Absolutely it works. I've tried it on my truck a few times when I was going through a different construction site at my neighbor's house when I was snooping around. And uh, yeah, it worked great. Up here, this is gonna be the, the uh, new Sync 3 system that Ford has out. Instead of using the My Ford Touch, if we take a look at that, here's our home button here. This is gonna give us our navigation. Also gonna show you what you're gonna be using. He did steering wheel in this truck as well. Kind of beautiful if you're gonna have uh, a truck in Michigan, kind of a nice option here. Down below, you're gonna see audio, climate, phone, nav, apps, and settings. Nav will go away if you plug your phone in because this is a compatible system for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So if you plug that in, nav goes away and it gives you the option of using your phone for navigation if you're more familiar with that. Let's take a look down below. Dual climate control here. And then you also have an air conditioned seat, not a climate seat, an air conditioned seat. It actually blows air conditioning, not just a cool fan blowing through, right? Yeah, more wood grain like that. Um, squirrel. You got, uh, you got heated seats as well. And this is gonna adjust where you want your heating and air to go. Trailer brake controller with your gain and output, plus and minus buttons here. Squeezing that also to tell you if your trailer is connected or not connected. Ford has a great, great program as far as your trailer observation. So they will literally tell you if you got a if you got a brake light out or a turn signal out on your trailer, it's going to make you aware of that on your LCD screen. Your LCD screen up here is going to be able to go through all kinds of different options. So let me get here clear. This is my view. So you can custom fit your view to what you want to see. You can interchange your gauges up here to see turbo pressure, trans temp, miles to empty your oil, heat, and all, I mean, just everything all the way through here. So let's just take a look through here. Trip one and two, your fuel economy, your fuel history, navigation and compass. Do you wanna see a compass on your dash? Well, you can, you got an N right here, but you can also put a regular water, you know, suction cup thing that goes to the windshield, like uh, back again, old school style, but you can actually have that up on your dash. Now, this is the next view, truck info, your gauge view, you can change that, tire pressure, digital speedometer, so you can see how fast you're going in a big display instead of using your regular gauge on your speedometer over here on the right. Take a look here, now we're gonna talk about towing, that's what this truck is pedigree for, I mean, best in class for you know years and years and years. So, towing status, towing information, trailer light check, as I mentioned before, trailer setup, and this is gonna have just tons of different options here. This is your off-road status. What's your yaw and pitch movement? How many degrees are my wheels, are my front wheels turned? So if you back into a parking spot, you know exactly what degree you backed in. Now you know what degree you can pull out and safely remove a trailer that might've been a little bit edgy or a little sketchy to pull, pull back into a spot. Now let's check this. We have our auto high beams on this truck because we're in the ultimate package here in the 2019 Lariat. You also have blind spot awareness. We, sh we talked about that in the back side of the truck. We also have cross traffic alert, rear parking aid, and you also have uh, your trailer blind spot as well. So not just the truck blind spot, the trailer blind spot that we mentioned before. And then you can scroll down. There's even more. Your cruise control, distance to empty calculations. Where do we, I mean, the hits keep on coming. Take a look up here. Here we go. Six auxiliary switches. So if you want to put an auxiliary fuel pump, or if you want to put you know, additional lighting in the truck, a plow, a winch, whatever, boom, 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 boom. We can go through all six of these and be able to tie in right underneath the hood to a fuse panel that hooks all those up. And we still left enough room for the sunglass holder, right? You got different speakers that are gonna, or different microphones that are gonna be in here for you to be able to hear people when you're on Bluetooth. There's nothing more annoying than, I can't hear you, please talk louder, that type of thing. Ford does a great job of really keeping an eye on those type of technology features and being able to maximize your use of them. Back here, this is gonna be a, a um, self-dimming rear view mirror. Underneath the back side of this, this is gonna be where you're gonna have lane keeping system, your forward cameras, all of that stuff is gonna be tucked in and hidden away here. So you won't even see it while you're driving down the road, it's hidden by the mirror. Huge vents everywhere. I love the dash on this thing too, because I love the stitching that just comes through here. Just paying attention to detail. I mean, honestly, how can you even look at a Denali after this? It's embarrassing. Let's take a look underneath the hood real quick, because people always ask me what's underneath the hood, using my grab handles, because I'm 5'8", and I can't get in a truck without them. <laughs> let's, take, let's take a look under here. So this is the 6.7 liter power plant, power stroke diesel that Ford has going on. So no hood prop here. We've got 
we've got a nice set of hydraulic uh, hood prop things here, so that's nice. Uh, you got your LED light underneath there too, all clear reservoirs, intercooled diesel. This is a single sequential turbo diesel. What that means is you've got a small fan feeding a large fan on your turbo, so you don't have two turbos, you have one single housing with two twin fans building pressure together. Big air box over here. We've got dual batteries on this truck as well. Most of the most of the diesels that for well, all of the diesels since 2000 or 1999 have had dual batteries. And this happens to have an upgraded alternator, heavy duty alternator on it as well. And you can run a dual alternator if you want to to run two different alternators for the batteries on this truck as well. What kind of power is this putting out? It's a ton of it, a lot, over 600 pound foot of torque, it's over 300 horse, and on a diesel. Horsepower doesn't even matter, it's all about torque. It's about pulling. But not only that, we've got a frame that's made to handle the weight of the truck for this to pull. Now, what do, you, what, what do we talk about with a frame? You've got steel frame, it's a boron steel frame, so it's an ultra light steel, but it's a very, very high grade, high capacity, high strength steel. What does that mean? That means we put, when we did this in 2017 with Ford, they made an aluminum body. What did they do with the weight that they saved on aluminum? They put it into the frame, they reinvested that weight and reused it into the frame to go to an even bigger frame. We literally could swallow any of our competition's frame like a boa constrictor, one bite. Our frame is that much larger than our competition. Crazy. Now, the one thing I forgot to mention too on this whole thing is we have a fifth wheel hitch adapter kit on this. Can I please show you that? I know this is a long video, but I want to give you the details inside and out. And if you don't know about them, I'm not doing my job. Here we go again. I should have used a tailgate stop. So if you look at this, so this is for the gooseneck fifth wheel prep package, okay? It doesn't have the hitch kit. If you go to the fifth wheel gooseneck hitch kit, the hitch kit actually comes with up to a 25,000 pound capacity fifth wheel hitch. So you got five different spots in here. What does that mean? Well, you can get a hitch from Reese, which Ford is partnered with, to put a fifth wheel hitch in these four spots. Or you can use a gooseneck in the center. Why? Well, because Ford made this truck to haul stuff not to just be a parking lot princess. So that's why we have it. There you go, very easy to, very easy to use. And if you have a hitch already, there's an adapter that, that Reese makes as well. It looks like a picture frame, sits right on the top of these four, so you can reuse the hitch that you already have. So you don't have to reinvest another 1500 bucks in a hitch. If you've already got one, we can use it. This is the 2019 Lariat Ultimate Package Sport that Ford makes and we love to sell here at Lasco Ford. If you have any questions on a truck like this, please give us a call. Very easy to reach us, 810-629-2255 or go to www.lascoford.com. If you like this video, if you want more details, please throw, throw a comment down below or just subscribe and we'll continue bringing videos to you so you're aware of what Ford's new products are. I'm Paul Zagman, this is Lasco Ford. We appreciate you, thanks for watching.